Over on YouTube, over on Vinyl Community, uh, Danny Valderrama 69 back here again to do another vinyl update. I don't know what number this is, I lost. Okay. Pick a number. Uh, <laughs> um, I managed to get um, some stuff today. Um, I went out to get something to eat this morning for work uh, and. Uh, wound up in the record shop instead and uh, came out with some awesome stuff um, we're currently listening to uh, the specials <coughs> <coughs> the specials first album um, I lost I've, I've lost my voice a little bit uh, I had two gigs over the weekend with my band and um, yeah I've lost my voice a little bit but yeah, yeah, well, this is the specials first album. Um, so, uh, 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 uh. so um, yeah, this is what I got today uh, instead of breakfast. So I picked up uh, Culture International Herb. Um, <laughs> that is my um, that's my favourite cover. Of an album I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never ever looked at a record from cover of a record and thought I'd like to be there more than than this one. And, uh, but yeah, awesome record. And uh, been listening to that before. Um, now, in the I picked up that, and the guy behind the counter, Tommy, said to me, uh, "Oh, you know, you like." reggae and I was like, yeah of course I like reggae because I've got a box of Trojan stuff Trojan records here do you want to have a look through it so, yeah so um, I picked out four uh, Trojan records that I, I think are awesome um, so I've got my uh, the first one Harry J All Stars uh, Liquidator um, original Pressing on Trojan Records as the uh, label. Ooh. It's obviously got the song Liquidator on it as well, Tune. Uh, but yeah, Trojan. Um, so there's that one. Uh, uh, this is Desmond Decker. This is uh, it's a bit beat up. This one, uh, it's sort of coming away at the bottom a little bit. Uh, but So yeah, I think I've scored big time with these Trojan records. Desmond Decker. This is an awesome album. This has got tune after tune of it. Skanky, skanky ska goodness. Old school ska goodness as well. And I'm, I'm building up a bit of a collection now of ska from all three generations. Uh, the first wave of ska. Um, the two-tone revival. And... Uh, the um, the third wave from America as well, so you know I'm getting quite a bit of stuff now. But anyway, back to what I got here. Um, I can never say the name of this band right. Shrimmer Rip. Uh, I got Skinhead Moonstomp again on Trojan Records. Um, this is uh, this is awesome. I was listening to a bit of this before. This is really really awesome. Um, oh shit. Let's see that. And then that. Very, uh, very lucky. Like I said, I just walked in and um, I've not been in for a bit. So I picked up. I just walked in and, and Tommy was like, oh yeah, you know, I didn't know you like reggae. I've got some Trojan stuff here. Do you want to have a look through this? 
Yes, please. Uh, the next one I got, uh, Don Drummond, uh, the um, Memorial album. Uh, again, a ri an original from the 60s. Uh, Trojan Records. So yeah, so those are my four Trojan records I got, yes, awesome, so I'll be skanking to them for a bit, um, the rest of the stuff I got was just punk stuff, um, uh, a couple of cheap bits and a couple of expensive bits, well not expensive but, but uh, I got UK subs, uh, diminished responsibilities on red vinyl, um, this was in a cheap like 50p bin. Um, it's a bit beat up with the lyric sheet's been stuck to the sheet, but yeah, it's on see through red line on there. Um, I've got um, Midnight, Midnight Madness and Beyond by GBH. Uh, I don't own any GBH, so this is the first GBH album I've got by. Um, my band have actually played with them before in the past, and uh, you know, they're really nice guys to us, so uh, yeah. I'm, um, I've heard GBH obviously before in the past, but I just don't own an album by him. I've heard him on compilations and whatnot, but yeah, first album by him, so looking forward to listen, giving that a listen. I'm not listening to that one yet. Uh, next one, The Moans, End of Century. Uh, this is the Portuguese pressing of it. Uh, it comes with the uh, inlay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the lyrics that way down. Yeah. Pretty nice condition as well. That it's in. Uh, and then the last album I got um, is uh, is one I've been after for a bit actually. But um, every time I've seen it, it's always been like. Um, the really, really, uh, like third or fourth reissue and it's been really expensive. This is, obviously, this, well, sorry, this is Crass, uh, Fiend of the 5000. Uh, I this, this is my favourite Crass album, to be honest. Uh, I got it, it's the, um, second repressing on Crass Records. Pay no more than three pound one. The first one said pay no more than two pounds. Um, the, if you've never seen this before, that's the front cover. That's the back. And then you fold it out. Into a giant poster. So, uh, all the lyrics and whatnot in there. But yeah, again, another crazy crass inlay. Crass and their crazy inlays. Um, right, that's and that's what I got today. I'm going out on a weekend. I'm going to get some more. Um, so I'll probably do another one of these uh, over the weekend. Um, Pete, Peter. Um, it's been posted out, Mink, Minx will be posted out, so tomorrow. Um, Nick, same with you, uh, Too Many DJs is coming out to you tomorrow. Uh, Derek, if you're watching this, uh, and Joe, uh, and Charlie, uh, Crash Mat CDs will be coming out to you over the weekend when I get some more copies of our... <laughs> Uh, artwork done and whatnot, um, but yeah, yeah, all those will be coming out uh, over the next few days and everything. So uh, yeah, um, nice one, guys. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. I'll, I'll do another video, like I say, in a few days uh, with what I've got then. Uh, but yeah, cheers for watching. Um, be, comment, be merry, and be nice. <laughs> right, take it easy, guys. See you in a bit.